Hey GP learners, the Shiny Minds app is a really interesting app that looks to try and help with your mental health and well-being and it does so in a variety of different ways and it's designed for specific communities and one of the cool things is now available for NHS workers to use depending on the areas that you're in and you will need to contact your local administrators to get access but once you do, it's actually not too bad. And in this episode I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of the exact things that you can do with the Shiny Minds app, how it can help you and colleagues in terms of your mental health and well-being and various other details about the app itself. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Dr Gandalf of EGP Learning where I look at supporting you with technology enhanced primary care and learning and in this episode you're going to get a walkthrough guide of how to use the Shiny Minds app. Let's get started shall we? Once you've registered to use the app you'll be sent email confirmation of your username and password and you simply need to put this into the app interface once you've downloaded it from your relevant app store. So let's open the app. And then sign in. Once you're logged into the app, you'll see something that looks like this. It does take you through a tutorial that shows you some of the various different functions. I'm going to skip this and show you what I found. So first thing to note is in the bottom left hand corner you've got the home button. and This brings you back to this screen. Next to that you've got the master class button. This is effectively various different toolkits that you can use on a regular or semi-regular basis, whatever you feel best, in terms of developing your mental health and well-being. So let's take a look at these. When you tap on the Masterclass button, you get various different options in terms of types of toolkits that you can look into, other ones designed especially for you, getting to know more about yourself, or various topics like resilience, mindset, stress, calmness, breathing, meditation. These come in a variety of different formats. I'll show you the Mind Mindset version. So as you can see, these come in either audio packets or they come in as video packets or reflective log entries that you engage with. It's important to recognise that some of these will work better for each individual person. I'm not the greatest reflector when it comes to this kind of thing, so I tend to prefer the audio and video packages. I can't really show you the audio or video ones because unfortunately it cuts out my screen recorder. But in terms of the reflective ones, when you tap on one, for example, becoming a mind detective, it's basically a small little package that you engage with reflective log entries and stuff. When you get to the end, it gives you the option of either storing them and then keeping up for a day or washing it clean. And it has a really cool animation that I find very calming and relaxing when I've seen it. Let's go back to the screen. In the middle, you've got your profile button. It effectively has a lot of extra functionality with it. We'll come to this one last. The gratitude tab allows you to reflect on what you feel grateful for. So for example, I'm grateful for the health of my family during this trying time, during coronavirus and stuff, making sure my family is healthy keeps me calm. And you can reflect on these at any given point and store other versions as well if you need to. The messages part is what allows you to engage with other members. So at the moment I haven't got any from colleagues, but hopefully I'll get some soon. What is useful is to send positivity notes or shout outs to other colleagues. So let's have a look at that now. You click on the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and it gives you the option of either sending a positivity post or sending a shout out. So the post is like an image with text, the shout out is an audio recording that you can send. Let's have a look at the positivity post. So I'm going to tap on that. It gives you the option of either sending it to your friends or social sharing. The friends part you have to activate through the profile button and I'll show you that shortly. If you use the social share option, this sends you through whichever social network your phone or device is currently linked with. And this highlights four main networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and WhatsApp. So let's have a look at that now, shall we? I'm going to tap on the social share. It gives you a variety of options that you can send. So for example, I believe in you, you can do this, I'm here for you, you are enough. You can edit these if you feel you want to. And when you've selected one, you click next. And it gives you a nice little background that you can attach with it. Various different things. As you can see there. It would be nice if you can add your own, I think, from my perspective. But I'm a little bit of a control freak like that. So let's select the cake. Click next. And then you get to select which network you send it to. So let's go for Twitter. As you can see, it's added it into my Twitter app. And I can send that to whomever I want or however I want. Let's go back to the home screen. Additional functions from the home screen. In the top right hand corner you've got your notifications which allows you to receive any messages from other people or reminders about using the app. 
The SOS button in the top left hand corner is really useful, it gives you quick, short packages of mindfulness and other kind of training in an emergency. So let's tap on that. As you can see, there's various things like mood baths, positivity co packages, coping well, reviewing your life compass, we'll come to that shortly, and for example, a one minute rescue breathing exercise. This is quite calming, I have to admit, and pretty useful. Also has the ability to either email or call counselling services if need be. The final thing that you will see on the home screen is your daily shine exercise. So this is your daily reminder just to do something. For example, send a positivity note or engage with the package. One key area to have a look at is your profile tab. So that's the one in the middle with the Dr. Gandalf picture that you can see. Let's tap on that. So this is where you do need to start from using the app and it allows you to edit various different functions. In the top left hand corner, you've got your calendar, which shows you all the activity that you've done since using the app. The top right hand corner is the settings part. And when you click on that, you can access things like your account, notifications, whether you want to log out or reset the device. The account section is where you can change the image that you have. For example, why I've got my Dr. Gandalf icon, as well as do password edits and stuff. The My Friends section is the part where you really do need to start. So you tap on that, and then this allows you to add friends and also see the ones you currently have. When you start using the app, this will be blank. Simply you go to the Everyone section and type in the name of somebody that you know. So this then brings up a list of various different people who you can then add to your friends sections. And this allows you to send them messages like positivity posts or shout outs. As you can see, I've got both Sonali and Nicole already added to mine. Hope they don't mind, but they have been quite public about using the app. Next up, we've got my memories and playlist. This is basically a really good place to keep a dashboard of the things to keep you happy. So if we tap on this, you can see in mine, I've got various options. So you've got a positivity playlist, which is basically where you can keep things like YouTube videos or Spotify playlist songs. You do need the premium account in order to do so. That you can listen to or engage with at any given point. I do find this quite a fun thing. However, I do wish the search element of it was better because trying to find the right videos on YouTube doesn't always work so well. For example, my personal favourite is the Banana Song by the Minions. And actually trying to find that and trying to find the original version is a little bit challenging. The memory section allows you to store images from your phone that keep you happy. As you can see, mine relates to a recent barbecue that we've had. You can add more images to this or create sections. For example, images of your children, family, other kind of things that just make you laugh. The My Gratitude section is basically a copy of the Gratitude tab that you've already seen. The My Journal section keeps a repository of all the various different masterclasses, outcomes that you've engaged with and kept, so you can reflect on those at a later point. My Resilience Board is basically a method that you can engage with. The My Resilience Board allows you to keep various different people who effectively boost your resilience. Now, these can be actual people or fake things if you want to. As you can see on mine, mine's Simba from The Lion King. Why? Well, every time I think of the Lion King film, I feel happy. And the songs really make me feel happy, even though it's sung by Scar. The My Life Compass section allows you to categorise and clarify what's important to you. And as a result of that, create a life compass that you can reflect on when you need to. It asks you various questions, and then asks you to clarify which of those four are the most important. And then shows you as a compass. So if we go to that section, Firstly, since I've already created one, it gives me the option of either creating a new one or viewing my existing one. Let's, ha let's have a look at my existing one. As you can see, one of the things on my life compass is my family. Various other ones, I'm not going to show you those right now. Close that down. You can then go to my triggers section. So these are various different things that can trigger how you feel and also how you can work around them. It's a useful section that works similar to the my life compass by basically asking you various questions and asking you to prioritise which are the most important. And this links in with the My Coping Well, the mechanism will understand your coping mechanisms and how you can function around those triggers. The final part is leaving feedback for the app. Oh look, I've got a notification from Sonali. Let's have a look at that, shall we? You can send a positivity post. Let's have a look. Thank you for the positivity post and your shout out. You made my day. Together we are not. Awesome. I hope you found this a useful demonstration of the Shiny Mind app.
which has been commissioned for NHS users. I must admit I do like it. There's some aspects that I think could be improved with. But overall the app works really well and it is different to various other mental health apps in the fact that it allows you to engage with a community that's derived around your NHS work. If you are interested, register to use it, download the app and have a go. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to contact me, whichever social media platform you prefer. Definitely subscribe, ring the bell, get notified of all of our content. And as always, EGP Learning is here to help save you and your patient's time by taking hands in your primary care and learning. Catch you next episode.